Grade 3 math, number 53, divide by 2. I got a word problem for you. Let's take a look at this. There are 10 chocolate chip cookies. If there are two cookies on each plate, how many plates are there? So we put two cookies on each plate, and now we're going to count the plates. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 10 divided by 2 equals 5. You could also say that 10 divided by 5 equals 2, because it's a fact family. See that? So, let's see what we've got here. This is the same as this. 2 divided by 2. 2 divided by 2. The only difference is this one you read going this way, and this one you read going this way. All right? So if you had two dots, and you wanted to divide them into two groups. How many dots would you have in each group? One. So two divided by two is one. See that? Does it look like a face? Okay, let's look at this one. Four divided by two. One, two, three, four. We're going to put two dots in this one and two dots in this one. Four divided by two is... How many dots are in there? Two. Two groups with two dots. See that? Let's try this one. Six divided by two. All right. We're going to make two groups. Here's group one and here's group two. How many are in each group? Three. So six divided by 2 is 3. How about this one? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We need two groups. How many are in each group? 1, 2, 3, 4. See? How about here? Can you do it without the dots? 10 divided by 2. 10 divided by 2. We can do the inverse operation of multiplication to help us figure it out. Let's count to 10 by 2's and see how many fingers we use. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. We used 5. So 10 divided by 2 is 5. You know why? Because 5 times 2 equals 10. So we can do the inverse and help us do that, see? On this type of answer, we put the 5 above the 0 because we didn't say how many times does 2 go into 1. We said how many times does 2 go into 10. So by putting the 5 above the 0, it lets everyone know that we use the entire 10 and not just the 1. See that? 12 divided by 2. Let's count by 2's. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 6. And again, like the one up here, we're going to put the answer above the 2 to let everyone know that we use the entire number 12. Okay? Now normally, when you have a long division problem like this, you don't just write it like this, you need to finish it. You would say, 2 goes into 10 5 times, 2 times 5 is 10, we do subtraction and we've got 0 left over. 2 goes into 12 6 times, so 2 times 6 is 12. We do our subtraction, and we've got 0 left over. 2 goes into 14 how many times? Let's count by 2's. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. That was a 7. 2 times 7 is 14. We do our subtraction, and we've got a 0 remainder. Let's try this one. Count by 2's. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. 8 fingers. 16 divided by 2 is 8. And again, we put the 8 above the 6 to let everyone know that we use the entire 16. 2 times 8 is 16. We do our subtraction, and we've got 0 left over. 2 goes into 18 how many times? 18 divided by 2. Count by twos. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. Nine times. 2 times 9 is 18. 
We're going to do our subtraction, and we have 0 left over. How many times does 2 go into 20? 10. 10 and 10 is 20. Two groups of 10 makes 20. Now here's the difference. Because our answer is 10 and there's two digits, and we have two digits here, we are going to put the 1 above the 2 and that above that. The reason we do this, I know some people would think, how come you don't do this? Well, because that means there might be a 0 here, see? And you're putting 2 into 200, and we're not doing that, are we? We're putting 2 into 20. So the 10 is going to go like that. 2 times 10 is 20. We do our subtraction, and we get 0. So, dividing by 2 means you split the number into 2 equal groups. Or, you have 2 in each group. Okay? 2 equal groups, or, if we had 2 in each group, we could go like this, and we'd have 4 still. See? 4 groups of 2. Two groups of four or four groups of two? Same answer. Okay? So that's how you divide by two. Please, please keep working on your times table. Try to memorize them. They're going to help you as you get older. It's going to help you in algebra and geometry and calculus and trigonometry. It'll help you in regular math when you go to the grocery store. I'll see you next time. Keep up the good work. Bye.